Oh, hello. I don't know all of your names. Wolfgar. Hello. Nova King. Uh, what? What just happened? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. already started. Now Mattis and I were supposed to meet Delphine and Esbern over here in Karthspire. Apparently, they have arrived and have engaged what seems to be a Forsworn encampment. starting to get used to absorbing the dragon soul. Still such a rush though. Okay, have we wiped out all of the force more? Delphine, where do we need to go from here? What? A hag raven? Someone slaughtered it. Um, I'm still not sure where it is we really need to be. Let's keep moving. 
Esburn. I guess it's this way. Shortly, but let me take care of this briar heart. Oh, I don't like it. Is that it? Wait, they rushed ahead? Look, here's a chest. symbols. Here, let's see. You have the symbol for king and warrior, and of course the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the body. Oh, you, you mean this one? All right. Yes, that's it. The symbol on the middle pillar. Right, so we have all the drop. Whatever you oh, did, look. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. All right, so I'll need to remember this dragonborn symbol. Wait. Why are you stopping? We should be careful here. See these symbols on the floor. Hmm. Esburn's right. Look like pressure plates. We'll cross once it's safe. Okay, are you gonna make it safe? Be careful. Let me guess, you want me to cross this. Alright, look out, Esburn. <gasps> Esburn! Stay back. Be careful. All right. Oh no, I just lost my ebony flash. I think the key here is to walk on the dragonborn symbol. We'll cross once it's safe. Be careful. I am being careful. Who is that walk? Oh my god, I mean, oh my gods, Nematis! Alright, you would have to follow me. We'll cross. Look safe now. Safe. Let's move. Alright, at least that's over with. Come on, Nematis. Fortunately, you didn't set off the traps. What? Skyhaven Temple already? Look at this chest. Wonderful. 
Here's the blood seal. Another of the lost of Kathiri arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered even Cyrodiil? I'm more interested in this head. So, well, I'm sorry, Esbern, what were you saying? It appears to be a shrine, Torino. He ended the Akaviri invasion under mysterious circumstances, you recall. Try using your blood on the carved seal on the floor. Using my blood? What? All right. After the so-called Battle of Pale Pass, the Akaviri went into his service. Ow! This was the foundation <gasps> stone. It's working! It's coming to life! I need a torch too. All right, I hope everyone's ready. I'm going in. All right. This looks quite nice. Fascinating. Original Akaviri bas-reliefs, almost entirely intact. Delphine, are you okay? Amazing. You can see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for Alduin's wall, right, Esbern? Uh, yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. Everyone's going their separate ways. Be careful. Dragon Bane. Hmm. And what's this? Follow? Oh, I'm sorry. Fellow. Dragon Slayers. If you have skill in advanced armors, you can craft your own equipment. Not only do we help to preserve this knowledge for future generations, but it relieves the burden on poor Gaithric as well. So feel free to make use of the facilities as you see fit. All right, so this is how you make a, a Curus. Boots, gauntlets, helmet. Oh, and the katana as well. Should you need to reduce a piece of this fine equipment to materials, you will get only usable steel back from the process. Once shaped, Quicksilver is next to impossible to melt down and reuse. Leather cannot be recycled for reuse either, so please try to avoid damaging your gear too much. Hmm, okay. This is a common Imperial sword. What about this book? Mace Etiquette. Alright, well, I don't use maces, but 
I'll take the book. Maybe I can put it in the Dragonborn Gallery. Okay, Nematis, come on. Let's get going. Yes. Look at this. I'm sure this is something that um, Orion would want to see. The Jade Palace. The humans rebel against the dragon of the Lord, the legendary dragon. Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is falling from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah. Patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. Isn't it amazing? Um, it is. Carry on. Ah, thank you. Excellent. Now, where were we? You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragons, or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? What? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Um, no. I've never heard of anything like that. I was afraid you were going to say that. I guess there's nothing for it. We'll have to ask the Greybeards for help. I hope to avoid involving them in this, but we have no other choice. And what exactly do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Well, I, I have to admit that the Greybeards may have a point. Power is dangerous, especially too much power. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains, those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. All right, well, I'd better go see what Angir knows about this shout. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here. And the here as well. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place. In search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last dragonborn contends with Aldrin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. I know the reason. The matters. Let's get out of here while those two get lost in this. Um, I don't know what you call it—a a relief, a mosaic, whatever it is. Let's go. I think here's some stairs here. When the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, the thrice blessed fail. I mean, it's all fascinating, but I think dragon. it's time for us to go. When the dragonborn ruler loses. Hmm, it's still pretty dark out here. Well, I suppose we're gonna head up to the um, High Rothgar and see what the um, Greybeards can tell us. Let's go. What? What is it with those baskets? They keep moving. Uh, 
on gear? Oh, hello. I don't know all of your names. Wolfgar. Hello. Nova King. Uh, what? What just happened? An on gear? Sky above, voice within. I'd like to learn more about the voice. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. But there are many words of power in Skyrim, carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here we can feel the thum resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. All right, well... I need to learn the shout that was used to defeat Alduin. I, I tried to approach this gently, but I guess there's no way of talking about this. I mean, I just have to come out and say it. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? What? Does it matter? Yes. For matters what? of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Well, I have nothing to hide. The blades help me find out about it. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Well, at least the Blades aren't keeping secrets from me. Do not be so sure about that. Beware. The Blades may claim to serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. As for me, I kept from you only what you were not yet ready to know. Are still not ready to know, as your question reveals. So, you won't help me? No, not now. What? Not until you return to the path of wisdom. <gasps> What's going on? On gear, what was that? that? Wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So, you can teach me this shell? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. But I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. So, if the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. All right, well, then I need to speak with Parthenax. You weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. And why haven't I met him? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. 
He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Alright, well, how do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. All right, well, thank you. Okay, Nematis, come on. Excuse me, Wolfgar. Does it ever get bright out here? It's always so dark and dismal. Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. What? Those winds are so strong, I don't think I could get through them. Look. What? The dragon birds ah. again. To my understanding of clear skies. More understanding? This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Oh, oh, the power! Thank you. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. All right, thank you, Master Arnot. On gear. Sorry, I'm getting you all confused. All right, Nematis. It's time for us to go and visit Parthenax.